Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play New Horizons. Last time we got the money from Patrick Toman for our Collect Debt mission. We also did a little bit of trading and we purchased some glass beads. So we're almost ready to head back to Venice, but there's a few things that I need to take care of first. A few mates I want to hire and a few items that I want to pick up. And I think one of those items is actually here in Amsterdam. Um, I believe I can pick up a telescope here. I definitely want to get one of those. So I'm going to do this real quick. Okay. Thank you. Take care of that. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can get a telescope here. If not, then I'll go to a different spot and get it there. So uh, let's see. Yep, thought I could buy one of these here. Yes, definitely want to have a telescope. And nope, we don't need anything else. <clears throat> Excuse me. Those other two items were um, net were um, they're like compasses. They're navigation devices. They let you know um, what your longitude and latitude is. But um, I know where everything is, and I'll just tell you all the places that you need to go. So you don't need to necessarily worry about that. If you're new to the game, you may want to purchase one of those. I recommend the Theodolite, the last one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a bit of a cold. Got a bit of something there. Uh, it, it gives you the uh, the most accurate longitude latitude. Okay, we're going to go over here to Hamburg first. And then there's Lübeck. We're definitely going to go there as well. But we're going to stop here in Hamburg. Yep. And it's allied with Holland. Okay, fair enough. Now, we want to pick up a mate here. And those of you that went through, uh, watched Jow's walkthrough, then this is new for you guys. Or this is old for you guys, and I apologize. But we want to pick up this guy, George Ego. He's very good. Uh, he's, he's actually one of my favorite guys to get in the whole game, because he has high seamanship uh, at the very beginning. He'll go lower. Um, and he has, starts on a very low level. So he quickly becomes... All right, 20, good enough. He quickly becomes uh, probably your best mate for sailing ships. Okay, moving right along here. Uh, do I need to pick up anything else here? No, we're good. Okay, now we're going to head over to... We're going to head up to Copenhagen, and we're also going to get some weapons and armor. Since we're here, we might as well take care of that. And I'm going to go speed through past this. Okay, first place we want to stop here is in Lubeck. And the reason we want to stop here is we're going to do the 2 a.m. trick here. And those of you that are new to this, you might not be aware of this trick. But, well, uh, it's 12.30 a.m., so I don't, I don't want to waste a day. So I'll just go in and out here a couple times until it hits 2 a.m. Come on. If you stay at the end, it wastes another day. So, okay, come on. And 2 a.m. There we go. So we're going to go here, and we're going to purchase a great sword. Uh, my personal favorite sword until you can get the Crusader sword. And we should be able to got, get the Flamberge. Yep, this is what we want. Definitely 14000 We can now afford that. Now we'll put it on. And nope, not interested in, interested in anything else. Now, you may be thinking, well, why don't we just return this money to the people that we borrowed it from? But that will definitely come. That's We're, we're in the process of returning all that money. So, Okay. Next place we're going to head up here is, is Copenhagen. And we don't need to get the 2 a.m. We don't need to do the 2 a.m. trick for the armor I want to get here just because we can't afford the star level armor that you can get here doing the 2 a.m. trick. Okay, so we just simply go up to the weapon store. I know it's the item shop, but I always call it the weapon store just because it's got a sword on it. Okay. And plate mail armor. This is the level A armor, and this will be good enough for now until we can get the Crusader's armor, um, which is the star level armor, a little bit later on. Once we start getting our money machine going and get our trading going, then we'll definitely get that uh, rock and roll and getting those special things. Because we are definitely going to be doing some fighting because that's how we're going to build up our fleet. We're definitely going to not build our fleet up by trading. So, okay, and we should be good. All right. The next place we're going to go is we're going to go to Bristol. And the reason we want to go there is there's another guy for us to hire over there. Okay. And we're going to head up here. Yep, that's okay. Ally with England. And we're going to head to the cafe. Now, there is a guy in London named Lawrence Edwards, but we can't hire him just yet because our levels aren't high enough. 
And that's another reason that we're going to do some fighting. Here's another great guy. This is Anthony Morgan. Uh, we're going to do some fighting so we can build up our battle levels and hire some of the better characters in the game. Um, plus guys that we're going to defeat. Oh, you'll go lower. Come on. Ugh, I know he'll go lower. And sorry, as a good merchant, you know, you always got to make sure that you're getting the best deals. All right, whatever. I'm also impatient. So, in the grand scheme of things, 10 gold pieces really doesn't make a huge amount of difference. Now, you're probably going to want to point these guys to different positions so that... Oh, I don't have anybody doing anything. Hmm. So, that they actually gain uh, levels faster if um, they're appointed to positions. So, that's why you want to make one of them your chief navigator. All right. Doing good. We're doing real good. Okay. And there's going to be some more guys that we're going to hire a little bit later on um, as we mosey along there. So, okay. Now, unfortunately, at this point in the game, you have to resupply quite often um, because just you you're carrying a lot of goods and you uh, want to make sure that you're... Uh, you don't need that much food and water to get to all of your destinations. All right. Now, next up we're going to make is we're going to go directly to the southwest of Lisbon. And we're going to stop here in the port of Madeira. And get another level up for George and a level up for Anthony. Outstanding. Now, I with Portugal. That's going to change very quickly. Um, once I get some more money to invest. Now, we bought, you remember we bought those glass beads. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to sell these glass beads here. And we should make a good amount of profit off of that. Yeah, look at that. I bought them for two and I sold them for 49. So that's a pretty good deal. Okay. Now, we don't need to buy anything here because the goods that we can get here uh, aren't really great. And I got a fame and adventure too for discovering the port. So, okay. I will meet you guys back on the high seas and uh, we will start heading back to Istanbul. Okay. Now, next thing we're going to do is, yeah, we don't, need to worry, we don't need to worry about any fleets right now. Ooh, wages are getting expensive. Okay. So, we need to go and uh, report our debt mission and let the guy know that, sorry buddy, we don't have your money. But, first thing we're going to do is we're going to stop up here in Naples, and I believe it's still all allied with Italy, so I don't think we can get in just yet. we got to wait uh, at the evening <clears throat> to get into the port. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because there's a guy that we want to hire here. Um, I apologize, viewers, that I'm coughing and all that stuff. I usually don't do that. But this is Dante Palyra. Pretty good guy. Another great, great hire because of seamanship. Ten gold pieces a month. I like it. He also has Celestial Navigation, so he, he's a really great hire. And we're definitely going to make him our first mate. Yep, because we, we know Salim's going to be loyal to us. and He's really not that great of a character, I don't think. Okay, so now we need to head up to Venice. And we can sell for a lot of days because I didn't buy any goods. Um, I'll buy some more goods later. Okay. And we're going to head up here. And Venice should still be allied with Italy, so i got to go in during the evening time. And we're going to... Ooh, good timing by me. And we're now going to go and check in. Yes, thank you. It is a good time for us to check out 8 a.m. Lovely little interlude there. And let me make sure, yeah. So we go and uh, we're now going to, actually before I report this, look at my fame and adventure now and watch what happens when I go to bring him the money. Doesn't look like you have the money with you. It seems he was a fool to trust you. Go, leave me. Aww. Now, the reason that we did that is, look, notice that our fame and adventure dropped. Now, the reason that it's okay to do collect debt missions with Ali is because if you don't successfully complete the mission, you lose fame in both piracy and adventure. But with Ali, you only need fame and trade to win the game. So, it's okay if you lose that fame because, uh, again, trade's the only one that matters, and it's a quick way to build money. So I really like doing it that way. Now, we need to repay off our debt. You may remember that I... Um, and I brought some money earlier in the game, 12, 10 gold, and we'll pay it all back. And we should take care of all that. Awesome. All right. So I believe I'm almost out of I'm almost out of time. Let me uh, just head out here and double check on my time, and I'll let you know if I have more time. I'll do some more stuff. Be right back. 
Okay, viewers, got about a minute left, so I'm going to hopefully get another collect that mission. Uh, okay, no, 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 no. No, I don't need to know about the guild. I know all about it. And, oh, looks like there's no, there's no mission for us there, so that's okay. That just means that we can head back to Istanbul and start paying off these loans that we OP. Well, we'll probably do a bit of trading and just get all the money that we need, and we'll start that next time. But until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.